What's up everyone, this is Tyson at Titans of CNC. On our YouTube channel, we had a question from one of the commenters, John Peter, asking us about the tool Load Manager on the Dusons. So I thought it'd be cool to do a video explaining how to use that. So the tool Load Monitor is a very useful feature, especially when it comes to lights out machining and high production work, where you can specify on each tool a minimum and maximum load for that tool, and if something's up with that tool, the machine will alarm out. So if you have a drill that's running on lots of parts and the load suddenly spikes up or there's no load when it's supposed to have some, the tool will alarm out on you. Or it can also give you a warning so that you might know when it's time to change an insert or a drill or an end mill. Let me show you how to set it up. It's pretty easy to do. So to get to the tool load monitor, we're gonna push this custom one button here and that takes us from our main screen to our utility page. You use these soft keys here, the left and the right ones, to go to different utilities. And the one we're looking for is TLM, Tool Load Monitor. So it's pretty easy to set up. You have a record button here, which you would turn on and then run through your program like normal. Every time you run a tool, it's gonna have all the loads over here and it's gonna record the minimum and maximum load for that tool. When you're ready to use the monitor, we just turn it on over here. And then while you're running your program, it will give you warnings or it'll alarm out that tool if any of these loads reaches the percent that we specify. So normally you would record your program. It would populate the screen with all your tools and all your loads. You can also go to tool register here and then we can type in how many tools we're gonna to be using. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow to highlight up here and let's just say 12. And now if I page down on the screen, you can see that our tool numbers are changing up here. So we're gonna be able to go through and edit each tool to fill in the min and max numbers yourself or to set the percentages to when these are going to alarm out. We're gonna to go to data edit. You can once again, page up to whichever tool we wanna set. And then using the arrow keys, we can go through each of our loads and we can set a maximum and a minimum percentage. We can say we want the max spindle at 70%. And then for the warning and broken alarm, you're typing in how much percent over the max you want those alarms to be triggered. So if I have a warning of 5%, that means when my load hits 75%, it'll give me a warning. Right now it's set for 10% on the broken, so that means if it reaches 80%, that tool will alarm out. So ideally, you would want to run through your program after it's been recorded, and then you can see all the different load meters here and just adjust the numbers accordingly. Tweak them to where you want those warnings and where you want those max limits to be. At the top, you can also specify an approach and an escape time for each tool so that you can have the machine alarm out if, say, the tool isn't there anymore. So that's how long that tool takes to get to your part and how long the tool takes to leave the part. So until it reaches that time, it's not going to take into account these load meters. So after you set all of your settings, we just go back to tool load monitor main here. And then when we're ready to use it, after we put in all of our numbers, we're gonna to go to monitor on. You also have an alarm clear button to clear any alarms given from those tools and an alarm list, which will give you a history of any alarms that have been triggered on the load monitor. There's also a graph which will show all of your loads for all your different accesses on each tool. And if you like your settings and you wanna save them for another program that you're gonna be using regularly, you can back up your tool load monitor settings here and save it just like an actual program. So that was a quick rundown on the tool load monitor. Hopefully that'll help you get started using it. It's a very useful feature if you're running all night using a bar feeder, using a robot to load parts in, or if you have an operator running multiple machines and you wanna keep that door closed. Let's say you had a Kenna Metal Go drill running through a thousand parts. If that tool wore out or broke, this machine would alarm out on you and you would be able to catch it before another tool came up after that drill. So that's it for me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Just like John Peter, if you have any questions about these Jusons, put your questions in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.